Okay, Lenny, tell us what's wrong with community, because I think I might actually agree <laughs> with you. Hang on one second, I'll be right with you. Someone else talk. I've got to, I'm actually at work, so i got to do something real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, okay. No All right. Oh, I, I, I think I know what Lenny's going to say, and I think I might actually agree with him. As much, as much of a history buff as I am with this whole shit, like, it's... I, I do understand that some of this can be toxic for people and some of this and some of this and like a lot of the community crap can can destroy your life i personally can say that because i dealt with fucking raul for a year and a half i know this for a fucking fact <laughs> so right, i have returns i have returned okay please lenny please indulge so, us, indulge us. I'll, I'll, I'll do it but i'll try and be concise because i say i am at work um so I okay please I'll probably be doing but um first of all let me preface by saying if you think I'm talking about you specifically, I'm not. Relax. <laughs> Unless I am. At that, at, at, fucking get worked up if you like. It, it's grand. Um, but I'm probably not talking about you specifically. I am talking about myself, definitely. But I might not be talking about you specifically, so relax. And that goes to everyone in this call and everyone who may <laughs> this this hangout in the future. Calm the fuck down. All right. <laughs> So, I've, I've left. I've gone from this nonsense. And I call it nonsense because to me, that's what it is. When Agreed. I came into this community, it was out of curiosity and it was out of interest. And it was also, I wanted to have a good time with people who I thought wanted to have a good time as well. And it made me, <coughs> excuse me, think things. And it made me feel things. And it made me, I want to say it made me do things because I do the things that I want to do. Or that I think mm -hmm. I should, but it made me feel a certain way about people and about motives and about ideas that I now see as first of all fucking wrong, and mm -hmm. secondly, I was in a very very different mental space when I first came into this community. I was chronically depressed. I was not. I was in a very. I was in very rough shape personally in my personal life. I was very 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 rough shape. And this community and spending time in Hangouts and spending time with people over the internet gave to me a sense of um, belonging, a sense of purpose, um, a sense of like, you know, gratification. People would tell me that I was smart or that I was funny and I would feel good about that and I would feed on it and then I'd come back for more and then I'd overindulge in it and then the, the, the tribalism would start and we're ganging up on people. And we're talking about the same things over and over and over again. And even when we say we're done, we're not done. Because what I feel, I think what I was doing is what everyone else was doing too. They were using this quote unquote community to feed ego, to have a sense of belonging because things in their own personal lives aren't going so well. I see, I, I, and I look at a lot of these people like, you know, who are in this community, unemployed, uh, disabled, how many how many people in the great debate community in general have a mental health problems? Just off the top of your head, like you're, you're, you're not the first some? person to point that out. I, and I'm I sure I'm not. But I'm, I, 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 I like listen to me. I'm saying I'm not. I'm not saying there's a correlation there. I'm just saying there's fucking probably a correlation there. Um, one thing probably has something to do with the other. Engaging in this stuff for me. I found out while it felt good was remarkably unhealthy because I was ignoring the things in my own life that mattered. And as soon as I started to pay attention to the things in my own life, spending less time worrying about what some fucking useless half homeless Christian dick in New Jersey thinks about anything as if any of it mattered. As soon as I started thinking, stop thinking about that and started thinking about what, what mattered in my own life. Um, things got better and it happened just about instantly I started focusing on the things that were that were right in front of me that I wasn't taking care of that I could take care of so I started to take care of them do you know what I mean and once I did that I mean, who fucking cares what the fuck like, I mean Jesus Christ and like and the one thing I noticed was and I'm sorry Jordi I'll let you go in a second now because this last part's important yeah go ahead we I, I knew there was a problem. There's one hangout that I've since deleted because I deleted all my stuff. There was one hangout that I noticed. I knew there was a problem. It was the hangout where Richard fucking Raspberry. 
God, I forgot. God, do you remember the days when I took somebody called Richard Raspberry seriously? Yes. When Richard Raspberry was in a call with Alex Barton, Mark, and he was apologizing to them for some shitty things that he'd done, as if to say that Alex and Mark hadn't done shitty things to him by the fucking way, because they had. We all did shitty things to each other. And I can think about, I can remember that clearly now, very clearly. Sure, fuck's sake, lads. We were all as bad as every one of them, if not worse in some, t- some occasions. But in any event, he apologized to them. And I remember thinking, this is it. We're going to close the book on Richard Raspberry. We're going to stop. This part of the whole thing is done. Because the whole point of fighting these battles is so that one day we can be done with them. No. That's not how the internet works. <laughs> I, know, I know that's not how the internet works, but do you can see how, how much of a bad idea that is? Like it doesn't end. It does not end. If you're if you're staying in this community grand, it's your own fucking business. It's your own fucking lookout. But you're doing it to add trouble to your life. You're doing it because you like the trouble. You're not doing this to have a conversation about theology. You're not doing it for fucking highbrow, fucking Tchaikovsky music in the background, cigarette smoking nonsense. <laughs> it's fucking trouble you're looking for, and that's all you want. Straight up, actually, actually true. Lenny, yeah. I agree with you actually 100% because I've actually, I've had to push people out. I say, hey, like, man, like, you guys need to take a break. Actually. <laughs> I was like, you really, like, go take a break, like, and come back. And if you're enjoying yourself, then fucking grand. Because I've, I've had to say to people, I was like, if you go take a break and, and you come back and you're sad, then it's your fucking fault at that point. I said, right. if you take two weeks away, take a month away and come back. And if you're still sad, then leave, then leave. I've had to tell people this. I had an issue with everything, all of the time, all of the time. And people had an issue with me for various reasons all of the time, because again, the only reason we're here is to fight and to watch a fight. And we, yeah. uh, what, what gets me, what really fucking gets me is, and this is why it's called toxic, by the way, it's not called toxic because it's because it's awful. It's toxic. It's fucking bad for you. The reason, the thing that gets me the most is that the people would just sit and watch on their high horse and say, oh, Jesus Christ, poor, poor so-and-so. Oh, isn't it awful what's happened to them? Oh, God, look what's happened to this person or that person. Oh, this person was a bitch to this person. Oh, God, it's fucking terrible. Look what's going on. Leave. Leave. Go yeah. then, because this is bad exactly. for you. Yeah. yeah. Leave I, for fuck's sake. Oh, yeah, no, I you have, want to complain about it and then show up again tomorrow? Are you fucking stupid? I've, I've said that to a number of, of people that I'm I clo- I'm close to, people that I like, for their own good, and I've not gotten a very friendly response in return. That's because you don't want. That's because yeah. that, that's because you, that, that this is what they're here for. This is what they're here for: gratification, affirmation. Person, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm sorry, I agree 100% with what Lily's saying because, like, the thing is, it's very addicting, this, because the thing is, sometimes hearing people bitch about stuff gives you some sort of, like, things to not concentrate on your own fucking life. I know that it, it did it for me for a long time, and, you know, I sorted those things out in my own life. And, you know, it starts at 100%, but I think Lily's right. I mean, I think leaving or not because many of the guilt as I did do has been the best decision of my life. I. Because, yeah, go ahead. Well, I'm, just, I'm just saying because the thing is, I have managed now to have an actual personal life. You know, I was using this to, what's the word, gain, to replace it. I think it's now I don't need it. I don't need it anymore. Because that's I have. The, that's the ticket, Gary. That's the secret. Once you put this stuff away, internet drama, there's some fucking punch in fucking Canada or Texas or England said, Oh, I think atheists are all a bunch of faggots. And then they're like, oh no, he said faggots, what a hate monger. Oh, so what? Go make a friend. Go get a job. Ten hangouts later, treatment. yeah. Go get treatment for your mental health problems. Go deal with mm-hmm. the things that are in front of you. And then once you do those things, you'll think about G-Man in fucking New Jersey and the fucking box he lives in. And you'll chuckle to yourself. And then you'll go back to living your life. Yeah. You won't care. You won't care. I, I'm the main reason I stick around is for the people, the people that I like. And San Francisco, you know, bullshit drama involving one person, notwithstanding, really reinforced that. Same for me. 
I, 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 my contribution to this community by and large have been behind the scenes, mostly software related. And I'm happy. I don't want to be a public face. I don't want to get involved with the drama. I am here. I stick around for, you know, the friends we have. And my, my ties to the community are probably a bit tighter than most because, well, Jackie. <laughs> but this is true. Yeah. I, I, I definitely, I get what Lenny's saying. I wasn't in a horrible place when I started going into Hangouts, but I was, I, I'm in a much better place now. Absolutely. And, and so, I, people keep alluding to the, you know, them having to talk to people sometimes when they get too invested and say, hey, why don't you take a break? I've been that person that people have told this to, and it was good advice when they told it to me. Because mm -hmm. the, like getting getting too wrapped up in it, and I would always I would always chuckle at the people who started taking this shit too seriously. Uh, but when I found myself in the position of being that very person who I would have laughed at in the past, I realized something, which is that the reason it was impacting me was because I'd been around long enough to start caring about the participants. So when when somebody goes on a doxing spree or somebody says something hateful or, or makes a threat, it's about somebody that I know and who I talk to. And so that it stings a little more. And so so that's how you can get emotionally invested to the point where you don't feel like you can that just walk away. But in reality, you can. And it's potentially good to go. do that. And it was for, good for me to take the, the short break that I did. And I'm really still not that active publicly. Like, I don't think anyone in here really is. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, not, not particularly, actually. This hangout's actually full of people who just lurk. What I was going to say is no one here is telling you you have to leave the community. But if you can tell that it's affecting you in a negative way, take a look at that. Back the fuck off and stop being so invested in, in it because you're not doing anyone any favors, including yourself. Well, uh, also, if you don't have any, like... If you, don't, if you don't have any, like, girlfriends or you don't have any friends or whatever, it's because you don't invest enough time in your own life to do that. I, I wasn't doing it. And if, is, if you have friends in the community or, or even a relationship, you can talk to those friends. You can lurk. You don't have to be involved in, like, you don't have to be on the front lines. I are, took you're better off people. not. Yeah, there are, there are actually several off. people who I talked to, who I met in this community, who when I call them up, I, I only talk to them about their personal life and mine and the community never comes up. It's just this is hap this happens to be where I met them. I often say in, a, in what sounds like a joking manner that the GDC is my social life. It's not that much of a joke. <laughs> no, no, you're grand. Listen, it's, it's a pleasure speaking to you guys again. I have to go. But listen to me, all jokes aside, if you're embattled in this community like I was, where I was being mean to people for no fucking reason just because I was, like, you know, engaging yeah, in the amen. fight. Get the fuck out. Look at your own life. And I'm, I'm not, I don't mean that in a condescending way. I'm just saying, like, your own life can get better if you just give it some attention. Because that's what mm -hmm. I did. Now everything has gotten better for me. I'm no longer depressed. I've gotten promotions at my job. I've got a woman who loves me. Everything has gotten better just because I took my focus away from what Ran Campbell was doing with Ranism. And I put my focus <laughs> on what can Lenny fix in his own life today that is fixable. Mm -hmm. yeah. And after that no. happened, by God, it's been, it's, been and, it's been a couple of years and everything's gotten better. No, 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 Lenny, no Lenny, one here, sir. I, real quick, yeah. Lenny, for that, for that rant, I owe you a beer and I'm close enough to you to deliver. <laughs> yep. I'll take that You're beer. too young. Oh, nothing was, nothing was, was almost you to buy a beer for me. I can Pew, tell you that. Pew's a good, Pew is a good motherfucker. Okay. 